The Compression Burster, the new hydraulic bow available in the event shop. Is this weapon better than the boom bow? Probably not. Hey guys, it's Tedek, and in today's video, we will be reviewing the Compression Burster. Now, this is the new bow that has been released in the store for 1680 gold. Remember to pick it up, because if you don't pick it up in this week, it's gone forever. Now, let's review the weapon. So, it's a hydraulic weapon. The hydraulic weapons look very clean, but the hydraulic weapons are known for very bad damage. I mean, we got this boy right here. No one no one even touches that boy anymore because like he's just disgusting and is the worst weapon in the game. So with that, I was going to think that the compression burster was going to be a bad weapon. And surprisingly, I'm wrong about that. The compression burster is a really decent, good weapon. Now, before we review the Compression Burster, let's show you a loadout I'll be using to make sure we get all the good aspects of the Compression Burster. We're basically taking a photo of the Compression Burster from its good angle, like that, or something like that. And so the loadout we're running is Rabbit Raider Jonesy, Totally Rockin' Out, Quick Scope, Survive This, Bomb Suit, Subwafers, and Battle Beat. Pretty standard stuff. So now let's get into the game. Oh, and also here's the Compression Burster's, you know, perks. And the perks I'm running are crit damage, crit damage, energy, crit rating, crit rating for the first test. If you guys remember my boom bow video, I did three tests to see what kind of way I could run the bow. And I did that with the blizzard blitzer as well. And it went really good. So I'll also be doing the few tests with the compression bow to make sure I find the right roles for you guys. So with these roles, as you can see, I'm solo right now and I'm trying to kill a 140 in Kamen. It's not really going that well for me. I'm here focusing a single target blaster and it's not that well. But here you can see that it still has some great AoE damage, much like the boom bow. So there really isn't a downside because this is me alone killing all pus, but it doesn't mean it's the best. It's, it's still very good in its own right, but in terms of damage, it isn't the best. And this is the same encampment, but with the boom bow. I just wanted to test out the boom bow against it to see which one does better. And you can see that it's a clear victory that the boom bow did better. And not in terms of AoE because they have the same radius in terms of range, but because the boom bow did more damage. In this aspect, the boom bow wins. The boom bow is better for damage, as it should be. It's an explosive bow. It should definitely do more damage than a giant metal thing. I don't know what this thing is. It's just a giant metal arrow coming at you. And now let's move on to the math between the boom bow and the compression bow. All right, so now let's compare them. The Compression Burster between the Boom Bow. Which is better? Well, in terms of straight up damage, raw damage output, the Boom Bow beats the Compression Burster by 14k and 30k in the headshot, and it also eclipses it in the range. And remember, they're both Sunbeam, and they both have the same perks, energy plus 20% damage, except mine's fire because I actually still use the Boom Bow with fire. So, now, what does this mean for the Compression Burster? Is it a drop? Is it immediately dropped? Well, no, it's not. It's still a good weapon. Now, I want to show you guys the damage that of four times with four players how much the Compression Burster can do. This is how much damage with four players the Compression Burster does in terms of math. I'm not calculating Rock or Rift, just with Rabbit Raider and all that. It possibly hit for like 800-900k on occasion because of Rock and Rift and, you know, you know, uh, stay frosty, which gives you extra damage. And then, then again, here's the Boombo, which beats the Compression Burster, almost eclipsing it by a solid 100k damage. So, yeah, definitely don't run the Compression Burster. Crit damage, crit damage, crit rating, crit rating. You don't want to do that. That's not the way hydraulic weapons work. And we all know something, and it started with the Dam Burster, Dam Buster, whatever. The hydraulic weapons weren't meant to do damage. They were meant to push things around. And that's what the Compression Burster starts to do. And now let's get into the real review of the Compression Burster. The Bully Bow 2.0. I love it so much. Oh my goodness. First off, we have to change the perks on it. Because these perks are not going to do it for us. We're going to change this one to Impact. We're going to change this one to Impact. And we're going to change this one to Impact. Oh, my reaper, I need it back. Oh, but okay, so let's get started on showing you the Bully Bow 2.0. And now with three impact perks, the Compression Burster has comparable impact to the Santa's Little Helper. Where are you, Santa's Little Helper? Comparable impact to the Santa's Little Helper. 25k impact there and 25k impact there. However, we're gonna take it, take it a step further with a broken hero. 
Now, I know a lot of you guys don't know this because I learned it today. Thank you, my guildmates, for showing me this. Um, there is a hero called Footloose who increases Crescent Kick impact by 85%. We're going to be putting that hero in our loadout, and then let's go look at the impact again. The impact has increased by around 8,000, and on the Santa's Little Helper, it increased a lot more because it took the base value and multiplied it. So now, our Compression Burster has 33,000 impact. Does this work with traps? Well, I don't, I don't know. I'm just snapping that in so I can tell you. And um, yeah, so now let's talk about it. With this bow, you're able to bully anything in the game. You can walk up to a smasher, be like, yo, what's good? You like, you like soup? I like soup too. And then fire off your shot and, and bully the smasher. Like the first thing I did when we got this weapon is we started bullying smashers. We started messing around with smashers and just, you know, just, just keep on pushing them around and having fun with it. The downside about it is that it doesn't have a lot of damage, so it's it's kind of a gimmick weapon. It's only here to have fun with, to play around with, to mess around with. However, however, this weapon has potential in Frostlight and Endurance because it can bully Smashers and bully Hus. Say there's two power level of a Smasher. You can just pull up with the bow and just go pop, push him away, and then he's gone. Deal with him like that. Or two shots, and you can move out a smasher. Because it has the same knockback as a Santa's little helper and the shark attack, which is which is uh which is kinda nice. And oh yeah, it doesn't cost rockets. Did I tell you that? It doesn't cost rockets to do this. It's heavy ammo, which we have tons of, tons of, and tons of. It's it's super easy to craft heavy ammo than it is to craft rocket ammo. In fact, I'm pretty sure. I'm out of resin, all right? Yeah, I have 56, that's... Can someone, like, bless me with some resin? But if you're not gonna be using an end game, there is another way you can run the Bully Bow. You can do, instead of, you know, triple impact, you can run double crit damage, impact, and critical rating. You won't get as much, you know, bullying with the Bully Bow that you usually get if you're using straight up three impact, but you will still retain a large amount of damage and you'll still have some type of ability to, you know, knock things around because you'll have 22k impact in the, in the impact slot. However, you need Footloose to do that with the Bully Bow. Otherwise, your impact will be 25k with triple impact and then something less with that. Also, another good thing about the Bully Bow is if you're going to be using it for endgame, you don't really have to use a sniper loadout. You could just bring Footloose and go crazy go stupid and do all of that it's wonderful it's amazing so like i've been saying the compression burster it's not a bad weapon it's it's pretty good and i can't wait to see about who thinks this weapon's bad and it'll be it'll be fun so now let's go put the compression burster on the tier list all right so before we put the compression burster on the tier list let's talk about its three ways to go so with the full damage area it's a little weaker than the boom bow but that doesn't mean it's bad it's a solid a tier weapon within the terms of damage while the uh, the boom bow would be s tier because of the higher fire rate and the higher damage output in terms of damage and now let's talk about the full impact the bully bow where you could start bullying smashers pushing them around with its high knockback comparable to the Santa's Little Helper, it's it's solid A tier because it's super low damage. All it's gonna do is push them around. But if you're gonna be using it in like end game stuff, it's actually a pretty solid weapon or something you can earn early on. So then later on you can move on to the Santa's Little Helper when you need that more impact. So A tier for that kind of loadout too. And then you have the hybrid, the two crit damage, one impact crit rating build. This build is solid this build is solid you retain some of the aspects of of the impact and the knockback because you retain the knockback and arrow but you also retain a decent amount of damage making it a solid weapon i would give that also a tier personally the hydraulic bow or the compression burster is an a tier weapon in my book i like it and you should definitely pick it up it's worth it put you where you belong you know now, I hope you guys enjoyed my review of the Compression Burster. It's honestly a very solid weapon, and I think I'll continue to use it in certain niche areas in the future. So, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you literally in like six hours when I review the Vendor Tech Seeker. Alright, toodles and love ya.